Hi, welcome to this Arch Labs session. This is about Slim Team. I'm going to explain to you how you can make your own Slim Team. What is this? When we press our super key, an L, and I don't have my screen keys on, so let's activate them like so. When I press super L, you get this. Then you type your password, super L, you get another one. It's set to random, so that's always a surprise how you will then be logging back in and this one is the newest one the latest one you can update via the AUR the packer update and you can create as many as you like as you see it's just a wallpaper and a centered image to log in and that's it so if you're up to it you can make your own slim lock team where should you go and look you go to your system the file system and you go to well, well, if you don't know it, maybe better way, uh, way to do it, if you don't know it, then you go to this one, package manager, you know the word slim. Okay, we have slim, and we have Arch, ah, look at there, we have it, this package, Arch Labs, you double click it, and then you see, uh-huh, files, where is it going to put it? In user, share, slim, themes, now you know. So you don't have to remember it by heart. If you work long enough on these systems, you know, of course, directly it's going to be there. But it doesn't matter. Just, just, just look it up. You can type slim and then it's selected already. Themes. So he, here are our Arch Labs themes. And if you don't have these installed, you'll get this red one, which is the one that you see here. That's the standard one coming from the program, slim. But we have our own themes. Of course, if you select them and that's in a slim.conf team in the etc folder but that's already said it's all been taken care of in iso but what if you want to make something more i just made this one what you can always do is just say okay i'm gonna make, make my own so i'm gonna copy this one i'm gonna try it out first let's not close it i'm gonna try it first i'm gonna put it on my desktop let's get to work paste you figure out a new name and the name is probably coming from the wallpaper you're looking at and i'm gonna take this one it's called dark spots texture background and so on i've chosen for 1920 double click this is going to be the picture right mouse click this is the background huh? save image as um, dark spots is just fine for me for now we're gonna put it on our desktop all together save so this is my background but what do they say you have to call it background.png so it's important that the name is correct because in the slim team here it's gonna check for a picture and it's not the name is not put in here you don't see anywhere control v you don't see anywhere png there is no mention of a picture so it needs to be called background.png all right no problem we go to our gimp and we say save it again please oh sorry export it as not gpg but why not straight away background.png export blah 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 export Let's have a look. We have this 906 kilobytes and we have this one 428. That sounds about good. GPG is always smaller than PNG. What we do now is put this one there. There is already a background PNG, so replace. This is not necessary anymore. Um, black spots, I think it was called. So let's recall it. Black spots, rename. Now we have this folder, we could change the panel, that would be another exercise, and we have here the slim theme. So everything is, is actually carried out, imagine this background, and then this image on top of it, and that will be our look of our slim theme. 
How do we get it back on the system to check it out? We have to copy this thing to the other folder that's in here, the, the protected one, and we go as root, open folder as root, and yeah, I don't have any icons yet, doesn't matter, control V, and here it is, that's inside, and we've copied it now there. So as of now, it's available on your system to be a locking system, but not yet. ETC, like I said, slimconf, open the file, do it with the correct program, you have to do it with sublime text, and we'll have to speak again, because I don't know the name again, Arch Labs, I think I named it Dark Spots, but let's have a look, where is it, Black Spots, of course any typo will be punished, it has to be the same name, while we're doing that, if you say at some point in time, it's alphabetically, if you say at some point in time, I like this one, and I want it always, not random, then it's going to be like so. We just, and then you ask the password, and then you say, save it, my friends. So now this user, now those etc slim conf is saved, I'll get this uh, theme, that one, that one, that one, that one, at random. So I'll never know when this one will pop up. Um, so we'll check. Nope. So super L is the thing I'm pressing. Ooh, that looks nice. So I'm kind of happy with this new theme. And then all we, the only thing you have to do is, if you like to share it, of course, and you say, oh, well, I want to, to give back to the community of Arch Labs, please. Here you can have my slim theme and we can share it and put it on the ISO and then everybody benefits from it. Enjoy making your slim lock theme.